<laughs> hello, 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 and welcome, 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 welcome. How y'all doing today? Wait a second, this is back in a mess. Okay, got it back. How y'all doing today? How are y'all doing today? How's your weather? Here, it's raining and it's cold. And guess what? Perfect weather for what we got here. We got this ramen noodle hack. Okay, can you see it? Ramen noodle hack um, from TikTok. Okay. Um, I saw it on um, mm -hmm. Yaya's Best Life. Yaya Best Life. So I was like, oh, you know. You know, I'm going to try this. I am going to try this. Um, I have in here um, cabbage. I have carrots, um, onions, garlic, cauliflower, and sausage in the eggs. Okay? We're going to pray. All right? Father God in heaven, thank you so much for allowing us to have this meal Thank you so much for your grace. Thank you so much for your mercy. Thank you so much for the audience that you have given us. Thank you so much for allowing us to have this meal peacefully. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, I have pure leaf, extra sweet tea. It says extra sweet, but it ain't really that sweet. Enough. Not really. You can taste it if you want to. It's really not that sweet. I'm good. You good. And we got some crackers. Soup and crackers, okay? Can't go wrong with that. We are getting ready to... Oh, babe, what you drinking? I'm sorry. Cream grape juice from roaches. From roaches. We ocean spray. Ocean spray. Mm, I know ocean spray. Like, who what? <laughs> who did you got it from? Okay, let's taste this. Let's taste this. Is it still hot? How are y'all doing out there? It is still hot. Oh, here we go. Let me get everything that's up here. How are y'all doing out there? How, how, how? And I'll tell you after I take a bite. Because it's a mess. I'll tell you guys after I take my first bite. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like it. It's so Mmm. 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 Mmm, good. My stomach growling. I hope y'all didn't hear that. But I'm quite sure y'all stomach growl sometimes too. Did I say that I had cabbage in here? Mmm, mmm, it's good. Mmm. And I cooked it in butter. Like I saw, yeah, y'all do. Yeah, y'all's best life. I cook it in butter. And um, some. Um, huh? Maybe more Go get some. Okay, like it. Wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and some. Um, wow, I'm so tongue tied. Um, wow. Chicken broth. Got it. Chicken broth. Okay. They said that in 10 days, within the span of 10 days, South Carolina, where I'm at, has had nine earthquakes. Nine earthquakes. They say we are due for a big one. Due? That's scary. Because there's nothing that you can do about getting prepared for an earthquake. No? No. An earthquake just comes. Yeah, you can't get prepared for it. You can't get... You know what? You can't get prepared for nothing because God is in control. You can think you prepared. I mean, look at all these tornadoes that ripped through um, the southern states. What is that? About a month ago? You know what happened? 
I did put a lot of juice in here. But the noodles sucked it up. Oh. Mm hmm Because I did. The noodles sucked it up. So. <laughs> okay. You know what? Let me taste an egg. Let me taste this egg in here. You smooshed yours up in there? Let me taste this egg. I think this was a major part of the hack. Let's taste. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Taste. Mmm. Mm. The yolk tastes good. The yolk. Did you taste it with the yolk? Mmm. It tastes good. So. I don't know how you get pre prepared for a big old earthquake, but they say we do one. We do an earthquake. When though? Huh? When? They don't know? No. Not that I heard of. I gotta read the article again. Mm-hmm. Gotta read it again. Mm. And then where is it going to be? I know it's in South Carolina, but real part. So. Usually, my, I think they said Charleston. The Charleston area of South Carolina. Have any of you guys ever been in an earthquake? Listen, a couple of years ago, we had an earthquake. A little tiny earthquake here, right? And I'm laying in my bed. And I feel my bed move. I felt my bed move. The bed moved. Okay? And I thought I was tripping. I didn't turn on the news a little while afterwards. And they said it was an earthquake. So my sister was like, you felt the earthquake? You? Like, excuse, I can't feel an earthquake. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I felt it. I didn't know that's what it was. I thought I was dreaming. I thought I was dreaming. Hey, speaking of dreams, I had a dream last night. You know, somebody left a bag on my porch, right? And when I opened the bag, the bag said, this is yours or this belongs to you or it says something like that. I opened the bag and all of these white, spiders, bunch of them, came out, coming after me. I'm running. I'm going. I'm, I'm, I'm hauling white spiders because I'm like, wait a minute. Are they deadly? I don't care if they was deadly or not. Just spiders, that's too much, right? And I'm running and I'm running and I'm running and I'm running. And it seemed like I was in swamps and, you know, climbing over stuff, which you know that's a dream, right? Because I'm not going in no swamps. You know what I'm saying? And then I make it back to the house. I make it back to the house, and then there was another part of the bag. It was like two parts, right? Excuse me. There was like two parts of the bag. And then there was something else in another part of a bag. But what I could gather that was in that bag was a snake. That's the way it looked like. I ain't open it. I ain't open it. And then I woke up. So if anybody out there interpret dreams, let a sister know, okay? Let a sister know. But you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, white usually symbols something spiritual. You know what I'm saying? So maybe I picked the right, excuse me, picked the right bag and left the, I don't know. Anybody out there that is... It was one, uh-uh, I can't do it. It was one bag, I know, right, always. It was one bag, but it had two compartments to it. Two compartments, right? And then it, the one that I opened up, it was like, this is yours forever or something like that. I don't know, you know, it was, it was weird. 
you think it was a lot of them. <laughs> okay, it was a lot of them. So hopefully there's a lot of good stuff coming. That's yeah, you you know what I'm gonna claim that. It's a lot of good stuff coming. I mean, it was a lot of them. A lot of them. And you know what? They was chasing me down. Like, what are you running for? What are we what are you running for? You know what? When I was younger, it was another dream that I had. Did I tell you about that dream? Where there was this big white ball always chasing me. Okay, just chasing me and I'm running and I'm running, but the ball was right up on me, but it never touched me. Like, I'm chasing you, but you got to turn around and want it. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm a gentleman or, you know, I'm not like, you know, the one down there, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to just, ugh, you know, come up on you. I'm here. I'm chasing you. Don't something that the Bible said that he chases us, like, Grace and, well, uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember what it says. Oh. I forgot, I'm sorry, but there's something in there that says that grace and mercy chase, I don't, it's something, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you know what I will do? I'll put that scripture in this description box below that I'm talking about. I'll do that. I will do that. You think it? <laughs> grace and mercy Follows us, brother? No. Uh -huh. I don't think Sounds like it. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is really, really good. Mm-hmm. I was like, mm, I don't know what to eat. And I didn't have any inclination to eat anything. I was like, I am not, you know, I don't feel like eating anything. And I saw Yaya um, talking about this. Yaya's best life and she made it and her and her husband you know ate it and I was like I want to do that I'm gonna do that uh -uh, what in the world mm -mm. I'm talking too much mm, sorry Speaking of snakes, I want to move. Me too. We have had so many snake no, encounters. No. You don't want to hear it? I don't know where it goes. Somewhere where ain't no snakes. Where's that at? <laughs> I mean, there's snakes everywhere, but it, it's not common. Okay, let me tell you how common snakes are where we live. And we're what we live in, okay? The first snake that I encountered when I was down here. Mm. Hold on, guys. Mm -hmm, good. Just mm -mm, hold on. I'm gonna eat my food. The first steak, steak. <laughs> the first steak. The first snake that I encountered. When I was down here, she was about four years old, four or five. And she was at like a pre-kindergarten, um, preschool pre workshop, right? So, I'm running out the door to get her. Let me go get my kid, you know. I'm running late, but she's, it's just right around the area. So, I get to the back door, right? I get to the back door and I open up the back door. And something said, don't move. So, I don't move, right? And I'm standing there like, why am I not moving? But it was so strong in my spirit not to move that I just did not move. So, I'm taking the dog on, you know, I'm looking around like, why am I not moving? Let me tell you something. Right over there by... um my car door, where I would have had to run to to get in the car, was a black snake. And he was up and he was ready to pounce, okay? I looked at that thing. I said, my, my, my. I turned right back around. I came in my house. I said, Pop, I said, you got to go get to car because there is a snake right by the door of my car. And he was like, what? I said, yes. I said, you... So he goes and get her. So I tells... um a friend of mine's, right? 
an older lady. I tell her, she goes, did you kill it? Did I kill it? No, I didn't kill it. Well, if you didn't kill it, it's going to come back. What would I kill a snake with? And for me being from Connecticut, how would I know how to kill a snake? I've never saw a snake in my life. Did you kill it? And you know what kind of snake they said it was? They said it was a whip snake. They said it was a whip snake, meaning that this snake, if he would have got a hold of me, he would have whooped me. What would you would have did when they said your mother got whooped by a snake? <laughs> Why? Why? Huh? I would have said what? Yeah, you would have said what? You know? Okay. Can so, do that really? Yeah, it's called a whip snake. It whips you and it whips you and it whips you and it whips you. Okay. <laughs> and, and it whips you, okay? And mm -hmm. then he'll get inside your nose. To make sure you still breathing or not. And if you're still breathing, this is what they told me now. Okay, this is what they told me. And if you're still breathing, he'll start whipping you again. No. Attitude, right? <laughs> Attitude. Okay, so since we're talking about snakes, here go another situation with a snake around here. All right. I was, um, when I was married, the bed is next to the window, right? And so... I said to my husband, I said, I hear a rattle. You know what I'm saying? I hear a rattle outside. I said, that sounds like a rattlesnake. Oh, you don't know nothing about no snakes. You from up north. You don't know nothing about no rattlesnake. I know it sounds like a rattle. Okay? So, my neighbor... <laughs> My neighbor was coming over to get some sugar. You know how that go? Can I get some sugar? Was coming over to get some sugar. All I heard was, boom. What was he killing? Eric, remember that? And you you ran out of your shoes that day, remember? He, he, he saw the snake in my yard, ran back, got his gun, and shot the snake. What type of snake did he shoot? Let me clear this up. Did I... Okay, a rattlesnake. And what kind of rattlesnake it was? A diamondback rattlesnake. Now, okay, I already said one time, I don't know if I said one time about how crazy my ex-husband was. Well, he was crazy, okay? So I was taking um, the air condition out of the, out of the window, taking it out because I don't want him coming through the window at that point in time, right? When we took the, what is that called? That duct tape. When we took the duct tape from around the air condition, guess what dropped on my bed? You want to tell them? Go on and tell them. <laughs> guess what dropped on my bed? You want to tell them? Go on and tell them. Today. <laughs> uh, was it three of them? It was three of them. Three babies. Three baby diamondback rattlesnakes was stuck to the duct tape. Now, mama had to put them up. Just thinking about it. Mama had to put them up there. You know what I'm saying? And since we're talking about snakes, we're going to keep on going with snakes. Sorry. Mm -mm. No, don't keep going. Uh, it, it's, I, 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 I got to. You know when I get going. We come home one day, I, right? I remember one too. Go on, you tell them now. Go on. Let me eat. <laughs> yeah. I remember it was me. I was younger. But, um, it was me and my uh, two next door neighbors. And we were playing in the backyard. Well, in my backyard. And then... It was this big, black, long snake coming through the, um, AC, um, the AC. Vent? Yeah, to, I, guess, I guess you call it a vent. I don't know. <laughs> it was coming through the side of it, and then one of my, um, 
next door neighbor friends was um running the go get the uh, axe, I think. To try to cut it up and Was it kinda like in um elementary he was running to get an axe? No, he was oh. in middle school, I think. Oh. I think. Still. I think he was in middle school. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a long snake. It was a long a long black snake. What if it, it was, was a whip long. snake? Huh? What if it was a whip snake? You would have just been out there getting whipped. I'm not coming out here. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. But listen, here's another story, right? She coming to work with me. I'm going to work. I'm running out the door. <gasps> Get by. <laughs> you want to tell that one? I can't remember that one. You can't remember it, but you. what did you have to do, though? In order for us to get out the um yard. You have to get in the car and back up. Mm-hmm. You have to do it. Because it was right there on the driver's side door. It was a big one. It was a big one. It was a big thing. And I said, I got to go to work. You know, how are we going to, because I'm, I, I'm, I'm not the size of a person that can just go over from the passenger side and go over. And I was much bigger then than I am now. So you know that wasn't going to happen. I said, Carl, you're going to have to back this car up. I don't know how to drive. You're going to know how to drive today. You know, so she, you know, backed it up. And then I got out, and then we, you know, switched sides and stuff. But here, here go another snake story. This is in this house. This is where we live, okay? We live, right? I'm home. I said, let me run down in the den and put in um, a load of laundry, right? I go down there, and the light had blue. I go down there, and I smell something. I smelled it. It was sweet. And I don't know how I knew. But I said, snake. In the laundry room. In the house. Okay? So, when I looked down, it was just long, long snake skin. What the snake had did was, it came in through like the, the where the washer and dryer was. It came through like the holes or whatever came in, shed its skin, and then left. Came in the house, shed its skin, and then left. Came in the house, shed its skin, and uh. then left. But you, <laughs> this is it's horrible. Snake is horrible. They, and then they disgusting. they're disgusting, <laughs> you know? And then, you know, the, my dad came and he put foam around it, you know, where the area was and stuff like that. But here's the last one. And here is the best one of all. My daughter. Best it's the best one because it shows that you listen to your spirit. My daughter oh, was yeah. like, I, I don't want to leave you, Ma, because I was sick. She said, I don't want to leave you. I don't want to go to work today. I said, girl, you better go to work. I'm fine. And she was like, nah, you know, just something telling me to stay home. I said, girl, you need to go to work. And she said, no, I'm not going. Because something's telling me to stay home. Okay? Laying on the bed. I'm laying to my back towards the window. Now, this time, the the air condition is back in the window. Okay? My <laughs> daughter says, Ma, get up now. No questions asked. I jump up. <laughs> you, you don't have to say that. The way she said it, it wasn't like, for what? It was like, get up. Guess what was going on? There was a snake coming through the window. A snake coming through the window in my bedroom. Takara, are you sure that's a snake? It's not a gecko, geico, or whatever you call them. It's not a lizard. Ma, it's a snake. My goodness. You know, my goodness. I called my daddy. I, and my daddy don't like snakes, but hey, this is kid. This is grandkid. He coming, right? And it was kind of still stuck because we always had to put the duct tape because it was a little bit too small. So he came and he got, you know, like a glove that sh and he took it and ripped it up. You know what? It was a baby, right? It was little, but it wasn't that little for me not to 
pass out if I saw it. <laughs> it was a, it was a snake, a baby snake. It wasn't no big old long doodle snake, but it was a snake nevertheless. Okay, a snake nevertheless. Okay. Oh, we holding y'all. We holding y'all. Listen, this is really, really good. Mm. Mm. Mm, good. Mm, really good. Thank you, y'all, y'all. I didn't know what I was going to eat. It's really good. I'm going to put her, the link to her description, Yaya's Best Life, in um, the description box. Great channel. Great couple. Great conversation. You will have a ball over there. Trust me. Trust me. Um, anything else I wanted to say before we let you guys go? As always, stay safe. You know what? I went to a basketball game yesterday. My niece's basketball game. I couldn't tell it was a, a um, pen a thing out there. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. No one had on masks, and people who did have on their masks, it was under their nose or under their chin. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. And then one guy, he was like, oh, this is your sister? And my sister said, yes, my sister's Sheree, the oldest one, Sheree Diana, as we call her, Diana Ross. And me and my other sisters are the Supremes. Hello. <laughs> Take down your mask. Let me see your face. No. And he didn't have on a mask. And he didn't have on a mask. No. You see my eyes. You see my eyes. That's my face. Okay? <laughs> you, you know, but anyway, listen, listen. I, I've been carrying on. I've been carrying on. But listen, stay safe. And everything that you do, stay safe. Oh, and another thing. Yaya's Best Life has a taco challenge going on. Okay, you have to go over there to see exactly what the rules are and because I can't think of them off the top of my head. So go on over there, check out what the rules are and do the challenge. You know, we are out here. We all out here struggling to get something and be something. That is the beauty of YouTube. That's the beauty of YouTube. Okay, so go on over there and maybe help her out, you know, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And you'll never fail. Be careful. In all things, keep safe. We want you here. Not here on this earth. No, we do want them on the earth, don't we? We don't want you on the channel. We want you on the earth, okay? Your parents, your loved ones, your siblings, your friends, your family. They love you. They need you, okay? They need you. Keep staying safe. Two years, you survive. Keep surviving, okay? All right, anything you got to say? Have a good one. <clears throat> hey. Like Mama says, stay safe. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's all. That's it. Cool. Bye, guys. Go on over there and check out Yaya's Best Life. Okay? <laughs> Goodbye. Mm, but this is good. Somebody try this who haven't tried it. This is good. And you can do whatever you want to do with this soup. You don't have to put, let anybody else put it in there. Okay? Love you guys. I truly, truly do. Oh, listen. I always forget. <laughs> always forget. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I always forget. And check this out. We are four away from hitting a hundred. Four. Four. One hundred subscribers. Four. One hundred subscribers. Yep. God is good. Okay, hit that off. I know they'd be like, they just be talking, but that's just who I am. You gotta be who you are. I can't shut up one time. When I'm not talking, then y'all know something wrong with me. Love you guys. Mm-mm. Let me move that. <laughs> you done. Maybe get up. <laughs> I'm finished. I'm finished. <laughs> Don't knock down the camera. Bye, guys. It's still rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Again.
Hi. Be safe.